Hello guys. Today we are going to study simple linear regression and correlation coefficient. Our reference is Blue Man Bock, elementary step by step statistics. The purpose of our lecture today is to answer this question. Are two or more variables linearly related? If so, what is the strength of the relationship? What type of relationship exists, positive or negative? What kind of prediction can be made from the relationship? So once you are going to answer this question, it means you have a formula to substitute to, to have the predictable value, right? We know some charts or some graph we have studied, like histogram, polygon, bar chart, pie chart. Today we have a new uh, figure or graph. We call it scattered plot. The scattered plot for two variables, x and y, with a quantitative data. So each point have x value and y value, right? So we will have X coordinate and Y coordinate. X coordinate will be the horizontal coordinate and Y will be the vertical coordinate. I will go with the Excel with you. I copy X and Y. X represent the hours of study and Y represent the grade in 100%, right? So if I have two variable coming from quantitative data, of course, right? And hour of study is continuous or discrete variable. Can you answer me in the chat, please? Or you can use your mic. Number of hours of study, yes, it is continuous variable, as well as the grade, right? Both of them coming from quantitative data, right? Now I would like to graph the scattered plot. So I'm shading the two columns and go for insert. In the Excel here, you have the scattered plot. Once you click here and choose this one, yes. So each point of this one represent X is one and Y is roughly 50 something, 57 as here. Two, two and 60 something is 263. This is this the point. And three and 870 what? Yeah, 375. Okay. So this is how to represent each point. X value in the co X coordinate and Y value in the y coordinate okay if you look at this one this one increasing or decreasing if you come from the left to right are you going to increase or decrease yes increasing right okay so it means if you are increasing it means or your slope of this if you have a line here your slope is going to be positive or negative for sure positive because you are going up from left to right. Okay, that's good. So if your line going from down to up, it means you have a positive relation, okay? How to get the line equation using Excel from this one, okay? You just spread this one, okay? And just take thread line. Okay, in the thread line here, you have an option to show you the linear. Yeah, I need the linear. Okay. That is linear. If I go for more option. Yes, I go here just to show the equation. Display the equation on the chart. So he give me the line equation, which I call it linear regression equation, right? 
if you would like to make it bigger just to see it. Okay. Yes. So this is my line equation, which called the linear regression equation, right? Okay. If you look at the coefficient in front of the x is positive. Yes, which is fair enough because your relation is positive. If you go from the left to right in the line equation, you are going up, which means the slope, which is the coefficient of x, is positive, right? Okay, that's good. Now we know how to find the linear regression equation and link the slope, which is a coefficient of x, with the relation type, positive or negative. If the coefficient of x is positive, the relation is positive. Okay, let's go for the next one. I have another relationship between the number of cars in 10,000 and the revenue in billion. If I would like to make the scatter the plot of this one, I shade the two column, go for insert, I go for this scatter the plot, and click the scatter the plot. Yes, which is also positive relation between the number of cars in thousand and the revenue in billions, because from the left to right, I'm going up. Okay, I would like to have the linear regression equation. I go for this plus sign, go for trend line. Okay. Now I have an option, go for more option to show or display the line equation. So I take this one, okay. So this is the linear regression equation. If you notice, like what you have done in the previous example, the coefficient of X, which is, I call it the slope of the line, is positive, right? So the relation is positive. So you can judge the relation between X and Y from the scatter the plot. If you look from left to right and you see it going up, it means your relation is positive. And also from linear regression equation, the coefficient of X, which is called the slope, if the slope is positive, your relation is positive. Fine. Let's go for the last one. I have the number of absence. And final grade, I would like to check the relation between the number of absence and the final grade. So I shade these two columns and I go for insert. I go for the scatter plot. Yes, this time is not going up from left to right. You are going down. So you are going down. It means your relation is negative. Increasing the number of absent, you will have a less mark, right? Decreasing the number of absent, you have higher mark. So we call it negative relation. Okay, good. Now I would like to have the linear regression equation. I press the plus sign. I go here, the thread line. To show the equation, I go for more option and go down to display the equation on the chart. This is the equation. Look at this one. The coefficient of X is not positive in this case. It is negative because the relation from the scattered plot shown is negative. So the coefficient of X is called the slope and it is negative because the line have a slope negative. So the relation between the number of absence and the final grade is negative, right? So if you ask me a question, what is the point of having this linear regression equation? I'm telling you any value is not in your table Right? Right? Say if the total number of hours is 10, what do you think the grade will be? Yes, if x equal 10, the y equal to what? I'm going to substitute by x equal to 10, so I have 5.5664. And instead of X, I replace it by 10, the number of hours, plus this part, we call it the intersection part of Y axis. 
or the y intercept if you put x equal to zero this telling you where exactly your line will cut the y-axis right okay so this is the intersection part of y so what is the value of this one can you calculate this one and let me know please if i multiply 10 by this one it will be 55.664 plus 54.54 if i add them together it will be how much One hundred ten, roughly, point zero four. So, I can predict any value is not in my data from the linear regression equation. This is the point of having the linear regression equation, right? As well as any value in the table, I can predict the best value according to this linear regression equation right okay so we know from left to right going up your relation is positive so for sure the coefficient of x which is i call it a slope is positive when you go here from left to right i'm going down so my relation between the number of absence and the final grade is negative so if I check the coefficient of x, yes, I find it negative as well. Okay. Now, you may ask a question. Yes, I know the relation positive or negative from the scattered plot or from the slope of the linear regression equation, right? Okay. I would like to know how much positive, how much negative, the strength of the relation. Okay. How I know that strength of the relation? We are going to calculate something called correlation coefficient. So from the scatter the blot, you can check from left to right going up, your relation is positive. From left to right going down, your relation is negative. This one is not linear regression equation. You cannot find the linear regression equation because the relation is not linear. It is like a curve linear, right? Okay. This one, it is a mess. It is not clear quadratic equation or linear equation or whatever, right? So I cannot say there is any relation here or linear relation, right? Maybe you have non-linear relation like this one, and maybe you have no relationship at all, okay? But this one is clear from left to right, going up and can be represented by a line go through uh, the points right and the left to, the right one from left to right going down it means i have a negative linear relationship okay we have done this one using excel so this relation from the scatter the plot is positive right this one is negative because from left to right you are going down right this one yes this one i cannot see any line can go through the points right or any other curve so there is no re linear relation in this case okay now we are going to measure the strength of the linear linear relation we know from the scatter the blot and linear regression equation the type of relation positive or negative now we are going to find a value between minus one and one positive one called correlation coefficient okay this correlation coefficient measures the strength of the relation between the two vari val variables x and y right okay so you must guarantee there is a rela linear relation first and then start to calculate the correlation coefficient right the notation of the correlation coefficient is r if your data is for a sample rho if your data represent a population right 
we have two types of correlation coefficient. Person correlation coefficient, when you have two variables, right, coming from quantitative data, right? Sperman, maybe you have similar two person from quantitative data or from qualitative data, but should be ordinal values, right? This is a formula for the person correlation coefficient. As you see here, you are using X and Y in the formula all the time and the multiplication of X and Y as well, right? Don't worry, we will do this one using a calculator. The other coefficient is the Spearman coefficient. This one, this D, is the order of the element, right? So you can use uh, qualitative but ordinal variable for Spearman, right? Okay. Let's go for this one, the number of absence, okay? And the final grade, we know this relation is negative, right? From the scattered plot. So I guarantee there is a linear relation and from left to right going down from the scattered plot. So the relation is negative, right? Okay. Now I would like to check the coefficient of correlation, which has a value between negative one and positive one. If it is zero, it means you have no linear relationship. If it is between 0.7 up to before plus one, you have a strong positive linear relation. If it is between negative 0.7 into minus one, you have a strong negative linear relation. If it is 0.5 from zero to 0.5, we call it weak relation. If it is 0.5 to 0.7, we call it moderate equation, uh, relation, right? Okay. Now, we know the main properties for the coefficient of correlation. It has a value between minus one and positive one, and we call the relation strong if the value of the correlation coefficient between 0.7 up to one. And we call it moderate from 0.7 to 0.9, uh, sorry, from 0.5 to 0.7. We call it weak if the value of coefficient bigger than zero and less than 0.5. Also, it doesn't matter the measuring, the measurement of X or Y, right? It means if you have something measured by kilogram, the other one measured by meter, it doesn't matter in uh, having the correlation coefficient value. Also, if you subtract a constant value from X and Y at the same, or from all data, you will have the same correlation coefficient after subtraction, right? Also, the coefficient of correlation measures only linear correlation between X and Y. Don't say, if you have the scattered plot like this one, like this one, and say, I will get the correlation coefficient. So you will, fail in a big mistake because this is not linear relation to have the correlation coefficient. And this one, there is no relation at all to, to find the correlation coefficient for this data. So you have to use the scatter the plot to check you have a linear uh, relation or not. If you have a linear relation, you can go for linear regression equation and the correlation co linear correlation coefficient. If you don't have linear relation, don't go for linear regression equation or correlation of coefficient. Now, we know we can check the relation positive or negative. We can check it is weak, moderate, or strong, or identical. If you have plus one or negative one, it will be identical positive and minus one identical negative. Right? Again, the correlation coefficient value never exceed plus one and never be less than minus one. Between bigger than zero, if it is zero, no linear relationship. If it is bigger than zero up to 0 0.5, it will be weak. 
from 0.5 to 0.7 will be moderate. From 0.7 to 0.999 will be strong. Plus one and negative one, we call it identical. Again, coefficient of correlation independent of a change of scale. It doesn't matter X and Y, they uh, mustn't have the same scale. Also, if you subtract the same value from X and Y and you get the correlation coefficient for the new data, you will have the same correlation coefficient. Okay. If the two variables X and Y are independent, coefficient of correlation between them will be zero, which means there is no relation. No relation, no linear relation, it means they are independent. Okay. Now, again, for the first one, yes, here is very, you, know, you can say weak correlation coefficient. Why I'm saying weak correlation coefficient? Because first, I check from the scattered plot, I have linear equation, a linear uh, relation, but it is not strong, it is not moderate, because when you find the correlation coefficient, you will fi find it 0.5. And we agree, bigger than zero up to 0.5 will be weak relation. But in this case, it is weak positive relation. In this case, the correlation coefficient is 0.9, so it is bigger than 0.7. Okay, so I can say this is a strong, strong positive or negative? Positive, because from left to right, I'm going up. This is exactly no points outside the line, right? So it will be identical linear equation, identical linear relation, and the correlation coefficient must be one. Similar to, the negative case identical no points outside the line right so it will be negative one because the scatter the blood going from left to right down this one similar to this case the correlation coefficient is 0.9 but negative because the relation from left to right you're going down so the relation is negative the correlation coefficient is negative here, similar to this one, but going down. So it is bigger than zero and, and up to minus 0.5. So it is weak linear relation. Okay. There is something called the standard error of the estimate measure. Okay. How the data points deviate from the regression equation. Because we have many lines go through this line. We choose only one line, which is the best line, right? Or the best fit. Yes, we know the linear regression, linear equation is equal to A plus BX. B, we call it the slope of the line. A, we call it the Y-intercept of the line. So I can get the value of A if I put X equal to zero, the Y will be equal to A. How to find A using X and Y data? How to find B also the same. This is the formula to find A and B, okay? So I can find the linear regression equation from the data, and as well as I can find the correlation coefficient, okay, from my data, okay? The standard error has a formula, this formula you can find the difference between your data value and your prediction value coming from the linear regression equation. Get the difference, square it, sum all the difference, divided by the number of data minus two, get the root square of the value, give you the standard error, okay, of the estimate. There is something called coefficient of determination. Coefficient of determination is the square of the correlation coefficient. So once you find the correlation coefficient, you square it. So you find a value which is less than one for sure. Multiply it by 100. It gives you the percentage. What does it mean, this percentage? It means this percentage of the total variation is explained 
by the regression line using the independent variable. Again, I will back to my linear regression equation. I find the correlation coefficient. I square it to have a correlation of determination multiplied by 100. Okay. I get something called coefficient of determination. This percentage represents the total, the percentage of variation in the independent variable Y caused by the dependent, uh, independent variable X. Again, coefficient of determination is the square of the correlation coefficient. This value means what? I multiplied by 100 if after squaring the correlation coefficient. Give me a percentage. This percentage of the total variation is explained by the regression line using the independent variable. It means the equation you have for linear regression, not all the time giving you caused by x, the value of y depend on x, right? Not 100%, OK? There is another coefficient called coefficient of non-determination. So it is fair enough. The total value is 1 or 100%. If I subtract the coefficient of determination from the 100 or 1, OK, I will have another coefficient called coefficient of non-determination. It means the variation on the coming from explained by the regression line is 100 minus 84.5, I get 15.5. 15.5% of the total variation is not explained by the linear regression equation. This is what does it mean, coefficient of non-determination. Catch it? Let's go for this one. How to get the I get the linear regression equation, right? I get the prediction value from the linear regression equation. I get the difference between each value and each its prediction. I square it, I sum it, divided by the number of data minus two, I get the, yes, this is, I call it the standard deviation observed values about the prediction value is like this. This is a standard error in the prediction. How to find the correlation coefficient? This is a formula. I'm just having column to multiply x by y, square x, square y. Substitute in this formula, you will have the correlation coefficient. If the correlation coefficient equal 0.982, what does it mean? It means there is a positive because the correlation coefficient is positive. It is greater than 0.7, right? So it is a strong positive relation. So the correlation coefficient here this value indicates there is a positive, strong relation between X and Y. Okay, now let's go for your calculator. If you have a calculator, please listen and try to practice with me, please. I'm just waiting you to prepare your calculator with you and try to do this Example, right? You have X values and Y values and asking you to find the value of Y when X equal to 60. 60 is not one of your data here, right? So you have to find the line equation after you have the scattered plot and you are sure this is there is a linear re relation. So how to find this one? the linear regression equation using your calculator, as well as how to find the correlation coefficient using your calculator. Please watch carefully and try to do it using your calculator. Shall we start? هو علاقة لما يكون في علاقة بين أي متغيرين x و y والعلاقة دي خطية فأنا أقدر أجيب معادلة هذا الخط المستقيم اللي هي y يساوي a plus bx وأظن إحنا شوفنا في الفيديو السابق 
ازاي بدخل الاكس والواي من مود مود ساس واروح للاوبشن رقم او الاختيار رقم اثنين اللي هو اي بلس بي اكس هدخل قيم الاكس الاول اللي هي 72 بلس عشان اروح للي بعدها 69 بلس 58 بلس 47 وبعدين 84 وبعدين 66 وبعدين 57 اخر واحده 45 انتقل للعمود بتاع الواي وما انساش برضه بكرر لازم اكون بادئ دائما السطر الاولاني أدخل خيام بتاع الواي أول قيمة للواي 62 بعدين يساوي عشان نروح بعدين يساوي 19 15 كده دخلت بيانات بتاعت الاكس واي زي كل مره خلص بيها بيانات دوس سي سي Did you embed your uh, data in your calculator? وبعدين شيفت 1 عشان اروح للاوبشن بتاع الخيارات بتاعت الستاتستكس انا عايز المره دي مش هي صار عندي نفس اللي ظهر عندي اللي هو اي بلس بي اكس انما هي الخيار رقم 5 وهو الريجريشن وهي كلمة انحدار باللغة الإنجليزية فبدوس على رقم 5 اداني كل الحاجات اللي أنا عايزها الـ A والـ B عشان أطلع على الخط المستقيم فدوس A في الأول رقم 1 ودوس يساوي تطلع الـ A ماينس 3146 ماينس 31.46 This is the A يبقى يساوي ماينس 31.46 أول الـ B شيفت 1 وأروح للـ نمبر 5 و ب رقم 2 ودوس يساوي تطلع على ب 1.357 اكس يبقى دي هتكون معادله الانحراف تمام اما معامل الانحدار هو اللي هو قيمته بتتراوح بين ناقص واحد وموجب واحد بين صفر الى ده 0.5 بتكون العلاقة ضعيفة ويك بين 0.5 و 0.7 بتقول نان سيكنفيكنت من 0.7 إلى 1 بتبقى سترونج أو سيكنفيكنت نفس الفكرة هنا بتكون العلاقة ضعيفة هنا بالعكس نفس القيم بس بالسالب ماينس 0.5 إلى ماينس 0.7 إلى ماينس 1 هنا بتكون تضاربية يعني بيزيدوا مع بعض أو مع بعض هنا بتكون عكسية واحدة تزيد واحدة تنص طيب نجيب إزاي الـ نفس الفكرة هدوس على شيفت 1 وأختار ريج ريجريشن هي الخيار رقم 3 وأدوس يساوي يطلع أو الـ R تطلع 0.77 أنا أهم ملاحظة لازم تلاحظها إن لو الـ R طلع بوزيتيف موجب لازم الـ B يكون موجب. لو طلعت الـ B سالب الـ R يكون سالب. فبالتالي الـ B تشير إلى العلاقة نوع العلاقة لكن لا تشير إلى قوتها أو ضعفها. الـ R تشير إلى القوة والضعف لكن هما الاثنين بيتفقوا على إن العلاقة تسير في نفس الاتجاه سواء قضية أو عكسية. لو محتاج اي قيمه من مش موجوده في الجدول كل اللي بعمله في المعادله دي وبعوض لهذه القيمه ده القيمه اكس شكرا